after. Like after wow. I was like, why why are all these people just sitting at yeah. a closed Chipotle? The, yeah, I remember like, saying that. I was like, <laughs> I was like they're yeah. not homeless, clearly. They're dressed way too fly. I said, Wow. It's Even like I like I told you. Are homeless hype beast? I woke up at five thirty and I went on a morning run and there was a line of cars. It was not like a huge line. They said people spend the night. But it was about twenty cars that was like and I was like, What are these cars here? And I was like, Oh, Astroworld they, Fest is that big? They said people spent the night. That's the crazy. Night before just and you saw kids bum rush the stage. I mean, they bum rushed the the gate. They did to get people out. I will say this though: shots out to and I never shots out to them. Usually because I hate them as as a group, but uh, the people that control the traffic. I don't yeah. know if it's HPD. I don't know if it's Reliant or whatever. For the first time ever, they there was control no traffic. The traffic away from there because we live there and it's like. After a football game, mm. I've had to circle around like I could see my house. Yeah, it's and terrible. they've been like, "You need to make a right." Mm-mm. I was like, "I could, my place is right there." They're like, "But you need to turn," and literally direct me away from my yes. place every single time. I just circled in traffic for like forty five minutes one time. Like I'm like, "What you want?" Yeah, me that to was do? last Sunday. Yeah. I, I'm sad for you. Yeah, and don't let you like you need you something do? and you're cooking something. You go, "I got to go run up to the store right quick." It's done. Uh, I can't do it, even though it's in walking distance. But it's done. Fair enough. It's That's done. what it is. That's is that how we shot? do it. Are you saying I should have walked? No, I'm You're not. trying to say I should have walked. No. Yeah, I, you like, you should have walked to Fiesta. Nah, yeah. they <laughs> blocked that off. They don't want to see no. That's right. They do block Shug off. Knight they looking block ass off nigga walking by the Astrodome. Like, it's scary enough for them because they're looking at you like, what is he going to do? And he got on a hoodie? Suge Knight's out of prison? No, he's not. <laughs> He's not. Is Suge Knight okay? Didn't he have diabetes or something like that? I don't know. Suge Knight and uh, Bill Cosby sh- share a cell together. Really? No, I'm lying. Die, that, not that, but, I mean, honestly, mm-hmm. that would be hilarious. That would be interesting. That's an odd couple. It would be an odd couple. That would be a super odd It'd couple. It would be super odd. But, I mean, it would be a good thing because both the dudes in the cell would be black. Black and ugly as ever, <laughs> ever. Stay Houston down to my socks. It's your boy. <laughs> uh, yeah, what's my name again? Carlton with a K. Carlton with a KBN. Triple X. Carlton with a KBN. Triple X. Also, Avery, like a very nice guy. Yeah, I looked at the screen. Who cares? Um, we're also here with my co-host. That's who's, me. Trying yeah. not to look at my phone. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, Just Devon. Go ahead. Say your name. Just Devon. There we go. It was, a little, delay. it was a little late on that one. Just Devon. Okay, yeah, there, there we go. We go. Awesome. I'm glad you're happy about that. I, you know, we be trying. Like, it's a good thing. Like, it's the team back here. Thank you very much. Um, also, what we're doing today is we have a special guest. Um, I mean, we're all about relaxation here. And you don't really have to think, really. You just have to take a load off, take your shoes off. Hey. All right, you got to listen to the sound of her voice and my voice, too. You're doing too much. Uh, Isaiah Carey is a fan. She's a fellow blue cheese lover. And Relax is definitely your ranch. Definitely your ranch. Uh, sugar love. I'm sorry. Sugar love. Because nobody, nobody puts sugar in a quarter. And take some time and relax and uh, listen to the sultry sounds of Lenora. Simply Lenora. Also, I liked your old Instagram, too. <laughs> who, the who the fuck is Lenora? <laughs> the fuck is I was Lenora? like, yo, oh, yeah. funny. That was the best introduction that I've ever had. So <laughs> That's what we do. Thank you. That's what Y'all we do. really rolled out the red carpet, which makes sense since we're in this fancy establishment. It is but fancy. Yeah, so I, like I went that. from who the fuck is Lenora to sincerely Lenora because my mom was just like, I don't like that name. Now, she knew the whole time it was a – did she know it was – because it was just who TF. She was yeah. like, I, that's, that she was, was like, my what's argument. TF stand I was for? like, TF can mean anything. It could. But it could. she was like, everybody knows what that means. I was about means. to say, what, what are the other things that I don't freak? know? Mean? I don't know. Who, who the, the freak? Fudge? <laughs> who the funk? I'm a funky who person. The funk? Who, who the, the funk? Who the funk is Lenore? Lenore. That's still a derivative. But it, it literally, like, I accidentally branded myself as who the fuck is Lenore. Like, I remember I was at Afropunk in Brooklyn, like, four years ago and people were like who the fuck is Lenore I was like oh my god oh. why well, can't just be Lenore it's just a screen name yeah and also I just ruined the other thing my mom said before 
please, can you do one interview where you don't curse that I can let my friends hear? Technically. <laughs> yeah, you do like to curse. Uh, my friends and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Technically, you're like, I was finally cursed. Technically, that was a quote. Yeah. We were quoting the we name. We were quoting. That was all, that's all it is. Your okay. mom is very nice. She likes for you to do good things. She, did, she does not um, support Slim Thug and his weed smoking. I <laughs> saw but that. I saw that. <laughs> Played the song, so she did, yeah. and he did. So, so he she knows was happy about that. He knows who the fuck Lenore is, you know, and that's what's <laughs> important. That's, that's what it is. Important. So this is your mom that's gone up, like, please don't curse, please don't smoke. She doesn't please curse, don't. she doesn't smoke. Ah, but she knows, like, her kids are hippie, like, this. What that's what's that's up. What it is. So now we're gonna Sorry, talk girl. to you about. Well, you know, your mom's gonna come in the story because we're gonna talk about your upbringing, where you're from, yeah. how you okay. got in. Your mom's the one that had you going over yonder the hey, whole night. Going over yonder, yeah. okay, okay. She did. So, simply Lenora. What? What? Do you just want to go by Lenora? Simply Lenora. Y'all keep saying simply, and it's sincerely. You know what? It is sincerely. sincerely. You know what? I, you know what it's I think it is. Niggas love simply it's orange sim- and like <laughs> simply juices, so they always you know what's funny. Make me what I kept saying, I, simply, I bought like I kept a picture, gallon man. of of simply orange juice this really? weekend and killed yeah. it. Yeah. It blessed oh, you. Oh man, didn't I shouldn't it? have said that. Yeah. It blessed I'm you. I'm supposed to not be drinking that. Whoops. Simply orange juice? No, nah, it's too much sugar. It's just it's all sugar. Yeah, but simply juice is great. Simply lemonade. I think they're gonna have that in heaven lemonade, when I go lemonade. up yonder. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's not good for you at all, though. But no. it's delicious. It is. It's delicious. It is. So it's like a Popeye chicken sandwich. Mm-hmm. Sincerely, Lenora. Yes. Is that what you want to go by? Just Lenora. It's just Lenora. Just, just Lenora. That's just my screen name because you know some random chick has Lenora. I messaged her like you're gonna have to get her it's name. A, it's up. a Lenora. Lenora got Lenora. She's random. Like I don't know. <laughs> so I'm you're sorry. The original? Lenora, I'm give the it up. original. I don't like it, it's the worst when somebody take your username and they don't even be doing nothing with it. Like, <laughs> they got, I feel like she be like last night. She two followers. Was, yeah. Right. <laughs> like, yeah. Taking pictures of her espresso, yeah. just like super basic bitch shit. Yeah. And I'm just like, man, McDonald's give me my fries. Name back. I like them. I'm like, get, <laughs> why didn't you go like the real Lenora and just start going at her. I like hate that. that. You know, you don't like the real, the real, the real, the official. What, what, did, what was Diddy? Did Diddy start that? Mm, I, I just like all I know is like the real Boosie has did. that, and I'm not speaking ill of Boosie. No, no, no. no, no for me, I hate it. I feel like you know what it is. I'm just like, have I done enough to, to be say the, the real? real? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes. I am sincere yeah. though. You have done enough. That's real. There Absolutely. you go. That's real. You got to speak that. You know, positive, positive, positive. Think positive all the time. Yeah. So, you're from Houston? Mm-hmm. Born what and part? raised. What part I'm of from Houston? Hiram Clark. Hiram Clark. All Alameda right. Plaza, Alameda. to be specific. Ah, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Now, first of all, what got you, I mean, we know uh, some of the story, but we want to make sure the fans know. Mm-hmm. What gets you into singing, just in general? Well, I started singing in church. <laughs> I'm going up yonder. So, um, that's a good place to start. Yeah. It's a good so, place I first start. started singing in church like most kids. And then, my kindergarten graduation, um, I went to a Christian private school and I led going up yonder. And so, that was like my first taste of fame. And I was like, I got to do this. Like, I got to continue to please <laughs> yeah. the masses. And so, all jokes aside, after that, I did like choir in school and stuff like that. And then, and now, high what's school. the, I'm mm-hmm. sorry, cut you off. What's the advice your mother gave you for going over yonder? Cause you oh, were yeah. Me okay. So, on going up yonder, I was singing it when I was a kid. And I was just singing it normal, you know, if anybody. But she was like, no, you got to growl when you get to the meat of that song. (laughs) And I was like, growl? She was like, yeah, I'm going up. You know, it's not just going up. You got to go up. So I I went up (laughs) and I brought the whole church down. She was like, when you do that, everybody going to stand up. Everybody going to applaud. Like, this is going to be your big break. It Uh wasn't my big break, but... It was the beginning of a long and fruitful career. Did the pastor, <laughs> did the pastor preach after? That's well, always a good sign. Yeah, if, if the don't pastor preach, says, you know what, we've then. had enough. It was a graduation ceremony. Oh, okay. And the, okay. And the pastor, like, of that school, like, I guess, of that establishment, he was white. And, you know, like, oh, <laughs> white never mind. people, never they mind. be a little different. They yeah. don't be. Well, they look at like, wow, she really likes that song. Right. Oh, soulful. Oh, this is this is uh, yeah. riveting. Yeah. Soulful. Yeah. It was riveting. Soulful. That's, yeah. you know, I like that. that's how they say. Put a little yeah. spice on it. Yeah. Yep, and then, so I was in choir, then um, I went to the high school for performing and visual arts, and so I got into opera there. So I was like an opera singer. From oh, like, snap, that was you. Mm-hmm, really? From like 13 to like, 
I studied that I studied vocal performance and opera in college as well at Loyola, okay. New Orleans. And then, like, what's funny is at that time, I really wasn't singing, like, anything other than that. I wasn't singing, like, any alternative or soul or R&B. And so I got into jazz because I was in New Orleans, and then I got into songwriting. Mm. And then here I am. Was your plan, well, I mean, when we're talking about when you're, as you're going along your pathway, were you thinking, like, okay, eventually I want to get into R&B, I want to get into jazz, or was it, yeah, I want to do opera? I wanted to do opera. Like, uh, when I was going into college, like, my my thing, like, my dream was to, like, do opera. Like, I looked up to, like, Audra McDonald and Leontine Price and Jesse Norman. Like, those were my idols at okay. that time. No, I, I don't know who they are. <laughs> I, know. I bet they are. Get familiar. Fire okay. opposite. No, they're <laughs> fire. Like, I bet they are like amazing. That. Fire. And I don't know who they but are. I'm going to put them on my playlist. I'm so ashamed to say why I didn't want to do but opera anymore. But you got to tell anymore. us. Yeah. It was two things. For one, it was the fact that um the composition like it was you know beautiful compositions but i was like dang i I would love to compose some things myself you know i think that's a that's a pretty like plausible answer a safe answer and a true answer the other reason was because like you have to do this thing called master class when you're in uh opera studying opera in college where you have other like students in that master class that go up and sing and they're part of your studio them Man, them people were so annoying, y'all. Like, <laughs> opera singers be so annoying. Like, and it's, I feel like it's not everybody, but I just felt like, man, they're so uptight. Like, you get to talking to them, they be like, oh, my gosh, like, the vocal fry. Like, you're not hurting speaking that way. Like, it's just, it's very intense. Oh, and so, wow. I and I knew, I was like, okay, well, people are annoying everywhere, right? But if I stay doing this, I'm going to finish my undergrad. I'm gonna have to go to grad school and be in more debt. And then when you're an opera singer, you really don't reach the peak of your career until you're about 30. So okay. that means you're gonna be broke. Like, I was like, oh no, I gotta figure something else out. But I always, you know, I always was singing. So I was making mixtapes at that time. I started making mixtapes first. Was it opera mixtapes? No, no, no. Okay, okay. I started like, <laughs> it was it was just as bad because like I, I had some like real sketchy management in college. And so they were like, no, let me tell you you need to flip Drake songs. That's it. So it just sounded like an opera singer like singing Drake songs. So really? it was just weird. Yeah. It was strange. Are, are like y'all, it took me a there? while to get here. Are these still out there? Are these floating? Oh, out I there took somewhere? them down. I went under a different I went uh, by a different name at that time. <laughs> what was this name called? Just asking for I'm a not friend. telling y'all. Right, but but the ones who know, like they know. Like some people still call me that. Oh like, okay, to, okay. to this day. Damn it, man. I'm surprised. So, <laughs> to, this day. <laughs> to this day. But I took it all down, y'all. I really did. I did like, my research. I had a little, I thought I could find I it. had a little pop in YouTube and everything. I did like covers, but it just sounded like an opera singer singing that. So it yeah. took me a while to find like what you my voice You want to put them up because like. Drake, Drake is always looking for a new sound. Yeah. And if Drake gets in the opera, Listen, you know, that's you. That's the all opera me. opera version of best I'm I ever had. I'm telling you that's you. Wow. Really? Listen, I did I know headlines. Drake said that on Drake. I flipped all those songs. Really? That's what I'm saying. Successful? I just want to be successful. It didn't sound <laughs> that bad. Like, it didn't sound that operatic. I mean, we can't sing, but, you know. But, Drake, well, it didn't Drake sound just that got booed, so I know he's looking for another sound. Like, he talked Damn. to his people. Like, he's like, yo, first of all, that's not Drake's fault. I don't understand why. Like, I, I didn't understand the booing. I didn't get it. People are assholes. They are. That's, that's a straight it. jerk. That's a like, my so man came out here and was doing that. And, look, I'm a highly critical of Drake. But my man came out there and was doing him, and I was like, y'all boo Tyler's having fun. Like, he's at the front dancing. And <laughs> they put like, something in their mind. That I think that it's going to be Frank, and it wasn't. And then they yeah. got mad of what you thought when nobody told you that. People are assholes. Fuck them. Well, Next Drake, thing. if you're trying to get into <laughs> yeah. that opera sound, we got somebody here for there you. There we so go. I got you. So you were doing headlines. You're doing all uh-huh. covers of Drake because your management is like, mm-hmm. they were that's like, what this we is need it. to do. This is what, well, this is what you got to do to be high. This is it. So that didn't really work out because it wasn't me. <laughs> and I noticed, like, I would always do, like, bonus tracks on my mixtapes, right? And I was, like, it was when I was first getting into songwriting. So the songs were, like, eh, to me. But I was writing, like, jazz-sounding songs then. Okay. Like, I was listening. When I started getting into, like, other music, I was listening to, like, Esperanza Spalding and stuff. So oh, yeah. my songwriting was just, like, really, it was really jazzy and kind of abstract. But people were, like, vibing with those more. Okay. Than like okay. the other stuff. So I just took a step back and I was like, huh, 
maybe, you know, the next mixtape I can get a little more whatever. But then eventually I stopped making mixtapes. I graduated from college. I went in the real world. I started working in corporate America because I was like, I don't want to be poor. Y'all, obviously, like, one of my main fears when I was younger was being poor. I, is, I can see that. <laughs> you know, because yeah, I was just like, scared. yeah. I'm going to be real with you. You know, it takes great risk to get a great reward, and that's just true. And so I think in some aspects I think I should have been a little bit more risque, but – I knew, like, early on, I was like, I got a lot of friends who have popped, and they went to, you know, for instance, they may have gone to L.A., or they may have gone to New York, and they was crashing on couches for a couple months. Yeah. I feel that. Yeah. That ain't me, though. Yeah. Lenora ain't doing it. Like, <laughs> so I, I was like, on the nah, couch. I got to figure this out. I got to yeah. figure it out. So I, I did, like, I worked at Enterprise. I was washing cars and business in business suits. I worked at Whole Foods. Like, I was really, like, just trying to figure it out. And then I want to say in 2017, I got I got back into uh, the industry. But, like, it was me doing the Motown and More Review show uh-huh. at Miller Outdoor Theater. I decided to audition. I hadn't been singing or putting anything out for, like, six years. Yeah, what made you? Yeah, I mean, what, pro- what prompted you to just say, hey, after being on a hiatus, Working in Enterprise, Whole Foods, all that stuff. What prompted you to say, yo, let me try it out? Because I was still recording at that time. I had still built like a, a studio. Like I built a small studio at home when I was working because I always was making music. And I was just like, what is stopping me from releasing this music now? You know, because my, you know, my friends would come over, we would jam out and they would hear stuff. And they were just like, dude, why aren't you putting this out? Yeah. And I realized it was this fear of failure. And it was a fear, to get real for a minute, it was a fear of what if I'm not received? What if I'm not special enough? What if I'm not this enough? And when I tell y'all the only difference in then and now was me just being like, excuse my French, fuck it. Exactly. I just was like, okay, I'm going to just be me. I know, I'm sorry, Mom. Mom. But it it, it called for that. (laughs) But I just was me. Like, I started singing what I wanted to sing, because I always loved disco music, mm-hmm. like always. Like, yeah. I love groovy stuff. I like just started wearing my hair how I wanted to. The Donna Summer hair. Get dressed that's, it how I wanted to. Yeah. Some people say Donna Summer, some people say Tina Turner. Yeah. It's like a bridge, but yeah. I love them both. So I just started doing me, and then I auditioned for that show. And in the past, I had never auditioned for the show because I had a fear of not being Not casted. making it. Yeah. Right. And when I auditioned, they were like, where'd you come from? So I ended up doing a ton of roles in that show, and then I got picked up by a couple of show bands, some producers, and from there, like, I just started putting music out in 2017 and building my team and stuff like that, and here and I am. You, and you said you were saying, like, the style of music you like. Like, you like disco. Mm-hmm. You like that kind of As a matter of fact, let's play – we're going to play some of your songs, but let's play okay. a cover. Like – you did I Want You yeah. as a cover. Mm-hmm. Let's play that real quick, the Marvin Gaye sample. Because you do a lot of 70s, mm-hmm. that, that kind of cover vibe. Is that just the, the genre of music you just like the most? Well, I love, I'm really in, impact, uh, is that the word? Yeah, impacted by like music from like the late 70s into the early 80s. I love that feel of music. But it's not just that though. It's like, because I, I, I don't like to limit myself, but it's like, I feel like that's that's what I like right now. You know, uh-huh. that's what I've always liked, but, you know, maybe the stuff that you're hearing right now is heavily influenced by those things. But I can do anything. I can make folk music. Yeah. I can make, <laughs> I can write a pop record, a country you know, I mean, record. You, I mean, you went to school on... for music, too. Yeah. So, I mean, you got to be trained in a whole lot of different aspect of music Mm -hmm. and on a lot of songs i mean you've recorded like a few i've heard it's just been like that i was like oh this is what you're how you're feeling right now because you've made pop records before Mm -hmm. and i've heard i'm like oh okay but this is where you're at right now in your career and that's what's awesome Mm -hmm. and i i think like the cool thing about music right now is there's like no such thing as genre like the first thing people ask me you know, or I'm sure all artists is like, what genre? Mm-hmm. What what kind of music do you make? And that's why it's literally so difficult for me to answer. Because I feel like everything has hints of me in it. Like, you're going to hear me. But, you know, a lot of it is influenced, heavily influenced by maybe a disco vibe or mm-hmm. a house vibe or, you know, it, 
that shit just got a groove. Like, if it grooves, like, and I know groove can mean so many things yeah, to people. Yeah. But a groove for me one day could be psychedelic, and a groove for me the next day could be an acoustic, uh, a folky kind of feel, you know what I mean? It just depends, you know? Some days I like congas, and some days I like hi-hats. It just depends, you know? I understand. I can't sing, so I mean, I don't know. Multifaceted, you, you know? know? <laughs> How do you know you can't sing? Oh, I know. Oh, yeah. you know? Well, at least I you know. know yourself. Oh, I'm not going to say you I don't try. I'm not, I'm not going to say I won't sing. I'm saying I can't sing. We've been okay. saying going up yonder all week. We know. <laughs> I was about to say. It's, it's been going been down? Up. Yeah, yeah, we know we can't <laughs> sing. Yeah, we I just sing, sing it. Then no, 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 nobody's gonna pick up my mixtape. Yeah. I know that. If you have a song in your heart, <laughs> you should just let it ring. Oh, Plus nowadays, I mean, auto tune. Like Listen. Yeah, I'm you gonna know. get a. I'm gonna get an old black woman being like, "Oh, bless your heart." Mm. <laughs>